I am from uh, Sarah Hines' house. I'm a program director down there. Uh, we run an after-schools program for youth uh, anywhere from first grade all the way through 12th grade, uh, October through April. And then right now we're getting gearing up for our summer programs. Uh, we do preschool camp all the way through uh, leadership development programs for high school kids. And then we do a resident camp up in Elwood City, uh, which is uh, about 45 minutes north. These guys friends of yours? No, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> they want to get to know you. <laughs> we know that guy. No, no. Uh, just met that guy earlier today, just promoting cool. some of our summer programs. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, like, so it's a nonprofit, right? Nonprofit. We, uh, we're a boys and girls club. Uh, we're technically, we're grant funded, and we get a little help from the Heinz Endowments. And we support over about 1,200 members a year. Oh, wow. And on an average day, we have about 300 kids after school from 3 o'clock till 9 o'clock at night. So what, what kind of programming is that then? So I run, what I do is I run a phys ed and a health portion down there. Kids have to go to a gym swim program every day or once a week. And then we do a club program as well with my counterpart who's not here. He uh, teaches uh, more of like life-based skills that they'd use every day. Like for younger kids, it might be friendship building to anti-bullying to, you know, oh, how do you change a car tire if you're yeah. older? You know what I'm yeah. saying? So uh, do you guys work in, 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 in distressed neighborhoods, the tough neighborhoods, or is it just generally we, all over the place? Yeah, we, you know, we're, we're located around the north side, right across 16th Street Bridge there by uh, Strip District. And um, we, we have everyone from over here by the Obama Academy to kids up by Cranberry, you know, South Hills, North Hills, North Side. So it's a really cool demographic down there. It's like a big melting pot, if I had to say one thing. So what kind of like support do you need from the community? Are you guys self-sufficient? Do you have a capital campaign coming up? Yeah, we do. Well, actually, we got a couple things coming up. Uh, actually, tomorrow is the big Highmark walk for us down on uh, Stage AE. And that raises money for our summer camp program. So kids that aren't as fortunate to be able to go with because they have money issues, we uh, we scholarship them, and that's one of our big campaigns. And then throughout the year, we do a lot of marketing, and and uh, we rely on our grants and self you know anonymous donors to support our mission and our values because we're a nonprofit, you know, yeah, and we have to come up with somewhere of like. 1.5 million dollars of funding so and so the work you're doing is really about um re like giving a kid an opportunity to kind of yeah we're grow like, healthier yeah. so by coming to heinz house you know we're giving a kid the opportunity to come in one give them somewhere to be off the street you know two give them a chance to taste some programs that they might not be able to do uh in their community because it might cost too much or just not or there. it's not there and that way they they can say you know what hey i really like music or media lab which we're doing a lot of this in our yeah we, we work with sprout this year and we develop a, a media lab where kids are on air over at saturday light brigade and a couple other joints and, i've definitely heard that that's yeah. awesome that's awesome yeah yeah and like uh i think it's um you know, then they can find out what their interests are, hobbies, and they can come well-rounded. And when we send them off to college, they they know how to be a leader. They know how to be a good community citizen and give back and volunteer, and they're ready to go. And they not engage themselves, right? Yeah, like, I would like say, find something I'd say to, that and deal with like you know, the struggles of being a kid. You know, well, you know being an adult, it doesn't get easier, right? Yeah, right. Jeez, <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's definitely something that's interesting. Uh, I think the toughest thing down there is dealing with parents, but uh, yeah. well, that's anywhere you go, I think, yeah. at this point. But it's a it's a very rewarding program, and you know we use all the help that we can get within our community. You know. So do you guys have a website where people yeah. might go to get more information or yeah, give go us down some cash? to uh, it's sarahhineshouse.org. Um, go on there, and uh, you can peruse our programs, our fundraising, anything that uh, might tap into. And you know, other than that, if you have questions, you just go on there, and you can see. Uh, you know the the staff emails and you know our numbers uh i guess i could shoot out my number but it's 412-231-2377 <laughs> well, i'm here today hey. <laughs> right now some russian guys yeah. writing that down, that down. matching it to your credit Shutting card like, uh oh <laughs> uh oh yep so Two, we're, yeah go ahead well we're asking everybody the same question uh you know why why what's what are you taking away from this event like what's the good about food in this country what's bad about food in, you know in our culture? i think uh with this event you know we're trying to get down to one Educate, you know, I would say looking at how you can make food taste good. I yeah. mean, over there, it's portioned out. You're, you're learning about how to make good food, healthy food. And, and that's important. Sometimes everyone just goes for the cheap, fast meal 
but really what are they getting out of it? Um, and then today just you know definitely promoting that you can have good food, quality food, cheap food that's yeah. quality and yeah. then and we kind of went wrong right in the last yeah. 40 years I like, think so food? I think just you know with our economy and everything and the food just being easy accessible and not too much awareness about calories and portion control and ridiculous things like that everyone just gets caught up in the shuffle and I think our our, uh, our way of life is all about sitting and doing work now yeah you know work takes a priority over life and when someone has to sit at a desk all day they just eat whatever yeah well in any I was a teacher for years and years and years it even goes deeper right like I would have kids that I didn't really even understand that the processed chicken nugget they were eating was an animal right like they yeah. didn't it was that disconnected from from like the visceral need to, everything yeah, yeah it's like, not like they think about a chicken I mean you might be getting some some product of a, a scrap or something that you don't even know of and it's awful to say that but I mean, we do a lot of cool programs on there. We just did a Healthy Kids Day where we brought in uh, Let's Move Pittsburgh and a couple other different uh, programs for University of Pitt that teach our kids about portion control, hygiene, all different types of stuff that go into your health. Um, we do BIA on, and BMI on every kid, and we track is it, them. Is it bad? Is it scary? You know what? Our kids are actually in the top percent of the nation. We have, like I said, of 1,200, and they're just... You know, with our phys ed and health and the awareness that we bring at Heinz House, I think that's important. And we can track that and show that. We can honestly say that, you know, we're getting them on all angles, you know, preparing them for college to a little kid that's like, what is a green bean, you know? So, you know <laughs> Why is this green food in front of me and how yeah, well, am I yeah. supposed to be expected yeah, yeah, to eat yeah, this, well, right? What so am I go. supposed to do with this thing? You guys thing? are all crazy. I'm not putting this <laughs> in my mouth. Anyway. So... So, oh, yeah. cool. Well, thanks for swinging hey. in. Yeah, and no problem. We're going to try to grab as many people yeah, as we can today. Thank you. I appreciate and, it. Uh, I'll give you a link. I'll find you on, on, on the Facebook or the Twitter. Hey, or that'd be great. Content. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Great seeing you.